All right, fellas, welcome back. I have another one here. I wanted to talk a little bit about red pill rage, okay? Um, I, I've run into men sometimes. It's almost like they despise or they're upset or everything's unfair. And one of the things is that society tells you that women are sugar and spice and everything nice and they're sweet and they can do no wrong and we're lucky that they're in our midst. And that's just not the reality. There are bad people out there, men and women. And they are, they, you know, some people want to get you. Some people will dog you. Some people don't care about you. They're going to manipulate you. And it's just the way it works, okay, guys? But I don't want you to get to the point where you're jaded and you're hurt and you're all broken and you're messing things up. That's not how it is, okay? When I, we're here, Red Pill is designed to learn about female nature. And Red Pill is really a way of life for everything in your life. If you go to work and a person can take advantage of you, they will. Oh, give him the work. Hey, give him the work. You got to stand up for yourself. Oh, hold on a sec, bro. That ain't my job. That's your job. Yeah, yeah I, I go over here. I don't mind helping. Right? And that person better help sometimes too. See, most of the time people owe me a little bit. So when I ask, I'm really not asking. Right? I already helped you four or five times. When I need help, I need help now. If you, any form of resistance, I'm like, this guy's cut. Right? And I, and I move along because there's no way. It's like me taking you out to, taking you out to eat or something for a couple of times. And then for a man. And then, you know, he comes out another time, and I'm like, yo, you, you got this? You got it, yo? He's like, oh, no, you could get it. All right. I already know. I can't, I can't go out with you again. Hey, right? because you're playing games. People are going to try to manipulate you everywhere they go. Oh, you like to work. You, you got money. You're good. Oh, man, you, you're lucky. That's funny. The harder I work, the luckier I become. So let's get into it, guys. Number one, you live in fear, Okay. You're always consumed, well, we got it harder, it's not fair, they don't have, they have it easy, it's more difficult for us than it is for women. You're always panicking. You, you don't know how to deal with our internal problems and understand the way it is. Guys, men and women are playing a game. Now, if we win, we get a higher score, and we have our time to get our lives together. Women don't. In the very young, early years, she's supposed to look for a husband and settle down. That's why they, past 30, they start struggling, start falling apart. They're too difficult. They're in debt. Kids, it's a mess. This is what comes with sexual liberation. They wanted options, right? They said, oh, men are sexualizing us. Now they sexualize themselves. We don't have to do it. They do it to themselves. It is what it is. Look at the brick lady. It's a mess. So, you know, oh, they're always victims and playing games. So understand the way it works. Guys, you have to get to the point where you look at where you are. You look at where you want to be, and you realize the work that you have to put in to get there, and you get started, okay? A lot of you guys feel uncomfortable, and you guys are, it's like difficult. What do you think is going to happen? You're not there yet. We do have a choice. We can choose to be more than this. You got to take the path that very few take. Meaning cannot come to fruition without that sense of discomfort, okay? You have to get there. So... And also, guys, when you're getting there, um, you have to understand, guys, that as you get better, as you get better, um, your friends have to grow with you. If they don't grow with you and they don't help up or let and, and help you out, or they don't, you don't lift them up, um, you're gonna have problems. We always see, you always see it, guys, in these celebrities. There's always like a rapper that gets robbed. They run up in his house, and this is old people, right, guys? I was raised in the hood. I remember watching the the dude in the corner with new fresh Tims and a bubble. Remember the bubble coat? I grew up in New York. So remember the bubble coat? And he's all fitted up. The dudes around him are plotting to get him. Right? He all fitted, clean. He eating. He full. And you got another, right? And you got the other guy. The other guys are starving. You got to level these up with you or you got to break off. Now, not everybody's going to come up with you. So these are people that you got to see once in a blue, right? We have different levels of friendship. You see them around. Hey, what's going on? How you been, man? All right, we'll talk then. I'll catch up. Yeah. You don't really see them. You might see them once every couple years, if that. They're not really tight or they're really your boys like that. You got to move on. I got people saying, they're, they're exactly where I left them 15, 20 years ago. I'll be like, damn, yo. Then they look at me, oh, damn, man, you changed, yo. I just <laughs> I just laugh. I'll be, I be thinking, we're supposed to. We're not supposed to say the same person. What do you think this is? You know, back then we used to club like crazy. Now, man, I ain't been in a club in years. Last time I was in a club, I was there for one of my boys. And I felt so out of place. I feel like the old man out. I mean, it was just weird. It was just not my thing anymore. We all change. We move on. It's not my thing. If it's yours, it is what it is. Number two, you dislike women or you despise them. You're very hurt, very jaded. It's a problem. You're, you get to the point where you're jealous or you're envious or you're looking at women and saying, this is a problem. You got to be careful. This is when you start getting the Elliot Rogers. 
right? You fall right into like black pill, right? Complete nihilism and hopelessness. And what's the point? It doesn't even matter. And you don't want to get to that. You got to lose that victim mentality. That's dread, dead weight. Okay. You don't want to get involved like that. Guys, there's always like this imaginary person or imaginary problem. And you got to figure it out. Life is full of problems, man. I understand. I know what it's like. Most men are having a tough time. Even when you got money, there's a lot of men that do have money. And their lives are still falling apart because you still have to be competent. You still got to figure out how to deal with problems without the world just bearing down on you. It's, a, it's an issue and a half. Now, guys, it's up to you to not get finessed. Don't be mad at women for what they are and what they do. You got to stand up to them. We're supposed to be the leaders. This is how it goes. Okay? No matter how, how good you treat a woman, if she ain't the woman for you, if she don't have no feelings for you, <laughs> she's never going to appreciate any of your efforts. She's not going to care about what you do, Right? what you do for her and you bring her the moon and the world and everything is great. Women are loyal to their feelings. They don't give a fuck about your sacrifice. Okay. You, you do go above and beyond. Look at Will Smith. My man breaking himself. Men are self-deleting for women. Could you imagine that there's no point in living because uh, it's, it's just, she doesn't love me. They don't love me. This is what you get. And men are losing their minds because they don't understand female nature. This is not the way to go. Okay. Over here in Red Pill, we teach uh, female nature. We teach adaptation, self-reliance, teach you to become strong. I want you guys to have mental fortitude, to be on your grind and level up and say, okay, I want to do something more. What are the steps I take to get there? Okay, you can't do the same thing all the time and then expect a different result. Now you're not, you're out in crazy land. You guys ever see men crying? They're like falling apart. Everything's a mess. And they're like, please don't leave me. Don't go. And she's like, oh, you're embarrassing yourself. You got to go. I'm done with you. I, don't, I told you I don't love you. And this is what happens, guys. These are men that get dogged because you don't look at it. You're not understanding the reality of what's happening. You don't know female nature. And you're not expecting anything. You're so, some of you guys are just focused on money. And you don't, real, you don't take five seconds to understand the opposite sex. You're playing around with video games and losing your mind. Or you're, you're working. Or everything else is more important. Right? Sports or whatever it is. Don't take five seconds about learning. That's why you have problems with females. What, what, guys, what you work on, you get better at naturally. It happens, okay? So that's how it works. So I remember, you guys remember the song by Omarion? I think it's called Icebox. It was like back in like 05, 06. And, oh no, he said something like, uh, I opened up, uh, she let me down, I won't, I won't do that no more. She ain't nothing like the girl I used to know. Heartbroken. That was a serious song when it came out and it, and it reconnected with a lot of people. And you have to understand the way it works. Number three, you are terrified of getting finessed. It's a barrier between you. It puts a barrier between you and women, guys. When you come from a place of hurt, place of hurt or a place that you're jaded and you're broken and you're falling apart and you're always thinking there's an ulterior motive, there's a secret agenda, there's an issue, you're going to start falling apart in yourself. These are the guys that get hurt. Hypergamy is very real. The problem is attachment overrides hypergamy. A woman's attached to you, it don't matter. We've all seen a man that she perceives to be an alpha, a catch, and he's a bum living in his mom's basement, don't care about nobody but himself, right? Dogs her, and she loves him. And the other guy is making money. He's making $120,000 a year, nice ride. She ignores him and goes with that. I've seen women go to that guy, get food. She'll order, that's, you know what? That's the girls that order an extra steak, and the steak is for him, for the alpha. Right? She goes, oh, my kids, and her kids are like with her father or with grandma or whatever, and then she gets it for him. Or she'll go to him, get liquor, get whatever, smokes or whatever, come back and bring it to him. She'll get money and then give it, look, look, I got $80 from him, babe. Oh, good, we could use this, we could do that. That's how it works. Women don't care about you guys. There's not a connection. So understand it. Um, the alpha males understand if I make 80000 and he makes 120000 there's more to do than just money aspect. But the men that are complete hopelessness and they're in red pill rage mode, they're going to be like, oh, she's always going to leave me. He makes 80000 The other guy makes 100000 There's no point. She's going to be gone, right? They're losing their minds trying to make more money and give her more. They're coming from a place of scarcity. This is going to be a problem all the time. Me personally, I love hypergamy because I'm on my grind. The more money I make, the more successful I become. Success is like, it's like women are a byproduct of you getting your life together. It's like those are like the little actual little treats. It's like getting famous, right? Like pussy comes along with it. That's how it works, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, unless you messed up somewhere and you blew it. But that's how it works, guys, okay? The man that makes 35000 going to be like, damn, man, it's not fair. It's so wrong. He's going to be mad if they got to make fifty. They got to make sixty. 
He ain't going to compare with the guy that makes 90 or 100. But you, you got to have more than just that. But if you're on red pill rage, you're going to be falling apart. Man, it's not right because to you, that's all there is. That's why beta males, man, they suffer with women. They're not social and they're broken apart. So all they're thinking about is, oh, I got to do more. I can, Man, right? You got guys that they, they listen to a couple of words of what they cherry pick some of the videos I have. And they're like, well, I'm going to leave her. And then they're standing next to the door, right? <laughs> they stand next to the next to the a phone waiting for it to ring. Why is she ain't weird? When I break up with a female or I'm done with her, she could kick rocks. Right? Unless she's going to come back and sit on me and act right, she's done. You got to cut them off. You can't work. You can't be waiting there for her. What if she don't come back? Guys, listen, there's nothing wrong with caring about a female. Um, I just don't want you to get lost in the sauce. Okay. All right. You start to win. Once you get like super sweet and whatever you want, honey, as, as you say, you get all wrapped up. You start losing grounding. You start losing any type of rational thought. Now you can't lead her because you're doing everything for her. You're whatever you want, honey. As you command, baby, whatever it is, you're consumed with pleasing her. Naturally, it turns into supplicating and appeasing her and whatever you said. Now you can't pass the tests. Now the attraction starts to dissipate. And you're wondering, damn, she flaked on me. What happened? I was all good. She told me two months ago she loves me. Yeah, that was when you had balls. She took them. You don't got any more now. Right? Now you're the male girlfriend. You ain't learning. Number four. Many of you make the mistake, guys, of uh, being like an introvert. And all of a sudden, oh, yeah, I'm an alpha male. I'm that guy. Let me be clear, guys. Alpha males don't say they're alphas. That's not how it works. Being alpha, the one of the first things, that's in your mind. You're a mindset of alpha. I'm not taking no crap from nobody. I'm standing up for myself. I'm self-sustained. I'm like a fire that keeps burning. You don't have to add any gas to it. You're, you're, you're going. You're self-driven. You have that masculine drive about you. That's what you're about. Now, guys, I'm not, an alpha male can, it doesn't mean he's going to, He's going to be by himself forever, but I'm saying that he can walk by himself and be okay. He doesn't have to stress or struggle or I have to have a girl with me or, I'm, you know, he can be social at times and he can just fall back and chill. He does his own thing. I, I'm straight alone. No big deal. This communicates what? He's not needy. He's not, oh my goodness, right? He's focused on his grind. He's done his purpose. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Right? The beta males are, I'll do anything for her. That's how the simps are. Right? Whatever you want. I'll put the air conditioner. You never even met this woman. You put an air conditioner for her. Man, kick rocks. You better be nuts. I'm going to go to your house. You, yeah. No, you can use my truck to bring the washing machine three flights of stairs, and I'll take the stairs. I'll take the railings apart for you, and I'll... You don't even know this female. What y'all doing? Ain't making no sense. Just because you're alone, guys, doesn't mean you should be lonely. You got to get out there and do what you got to do. Like a lion roams, right? Lions sometimes are by themselves. Even tigers. Tigers are more alone are loners than, uh, than lions. Lions usually hang in packs. What do they do? They they come across the world. They hunt and they do what they got to do on their grind. That's how you have to be. It doesn't mean that you're going to be by yourself forever. It just means you have the capacity to be, right? Without something, <laughs> something's wrong, right? Society, guys, is going to be like that. They're basically going to tell you, uh, you're getting old. You got to settle down and have kids and do this and be there for your woman, all this stuff. They turn around and they tell women, uh, you shouldn't settle for less. You should take your time. You need a real man telling these people two different things. A lot of you guys, you don't get out of the house. You got to work leads, man. You're not worried about the women you have now. You got to build up a rotation or get more women because you're going to lose, men lose women all the time. Women don't necessarily lose men. That's not how it works like that on that level, not the, not the same level. So get out there, guys. Get out the house. Even a lion goes out there, conquers the world, see what's about. He's roaming, finding out what's up, roaring, right? Sharks don't get up on Monday, but, oh, God, I got to be out here. I'm struggling. They chasing things. They letting me know I'm out here. What's up? They doing what they got to do. That's how you got to be. Number five, you are fearful of showing any type of affection or, or loving or caring or anything. Oh, I'm a simp if I do that. That's not how it works, guys. Okay? If your woman is acting right, then you treat her accordingly. Some women, I tell you, won't even have sex if you don't snuggle with them afterwards. I'm dead serious, guys. All right? And you got to realize some of you guys are like cold and harsh to some women, even if they're your girlfriend or something. Many of you are like, no, you can't. You want a woman to buy you a drink, and it gets it's like you're trying to vice versa. Now, I'm not saying, guys, that when you meet a woman, you have to buy her a drink. This is ridiculous. But a lot of you are getting to the point where, like, well, no, I want her to lead. I want her to ask me out. You're trying to flip the script. 
Many of you think, oh, I can't get her anything. I had a guy, he was he was with this woman like three or four months, right? And they're having fun. He going over there, getting it in, doing what he got to do. I think she asked him one time for like a Big Mac or some McDonald's or something. He was like, nah, I didn't get it for it. I'm like, bro, go get her the meal. What is wrong with you? This woman putting it on you, giving you the Gawk Gawk 3000 S Plus, like an iPhone 17 or whatever, you know what I mean? And you're going to complain about a couple, like, come on. I mean, guys, let, let's, let, you got to stop this. Even the dating coaches. I see some of the dating coaches doing the same thing. No, you can't do this effort for her. Guys, you can do things. But the thing is that we do things for assets. We do things for feminine women, for loving, nurturing women, for women that are pleasant to be around. We don't do things for masculine, aggressive women that are entitled and think, I'm a, you got to do everything for me. I'm not going to Cheesecake Factory. What? Then you ain't. You going home, baby. <laughs> we drop you off. You don't need to be here. Guys, women have the power early on. And after you have sex with them, you get the power if you know what you're doing. Okay? Do not believe no dating coaches that be like, yeah, I saw her at the store and she knew right then and there that I wanted her. And we went right in the car and it went down. This is nuts. Come on, people. I could usually, I, I can weed out the fake stories from the real ones. Because I know the game. It don't happen like that. That's not how it works. All right? That's very unrealistic. I mean, I've had women at my, like, come over to my house. I'll say it's early on, you know, no relationship, she's just dating or whatever. And then she'll come in, like, with her sister. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? No, I don't show it. Women can pick up the subtle differences in your face very quickly. This is something they learned through the years, um, trying to figure out what babies wanted and what they needed. So the smallest things, the smallest infractions in your face and movements, they're going to pick them up sharper. They're better at it than we are, okay? So this is internal. You look at this and you're like, what the hell's going on? But you got to also understand, she don't know me. What if I'm a weirdo or a nut job, man? You got to understand the way it works. Oh, no, she playing games. The red pill waves will come out right then and there. Oh, she just wasting my time. Guys, don't get upset. All right, honey, I guess this ain't going to work, you know? You go out with a woman so many dates. Like, After one point, you got to cut it off. Are you coming over? She going to lead you on 10 dates? Ain't going to work. Yeah, Guys, women that are good, they're going to want to go on dates with you, okay? Then they go, the reason is they go on a couple of days to get to know you and have some fun with you. It don't take no 20 hours to get to know somebody. If you look at the TV shows, people have like a few minor interactions, like 10 minute interactions, boom, all of a sudden they're sleeping together. Somehow you got to go on 10 dates and then she's taking her time and she doesn't know if she wants to settle down. And Come on, we know the game already. This ain't our first rodeo. Number six, you don't understand female nature. You refuse to learn. You don't want to learn. And you're just upset that women get certain benefits and you don't get the benefits. Guys, we both get benefits, okay? Our sexual market values is different. If we sit with 100 women, we are kings and gods amongst the earth. If a woman does it, she's a 304, right? He called. She belongs to the streets. Right? It ain't working out. It's a whole different world, guys, okay? Yeah. You're upset that you got to do more work than the other guy. Well, he probably did the work already to get the cheeks. Now it's your turn to do the work. Some men are not going to have to do certain, a certain, as much work as others, okay? That's just the unfair truth. It's like some men that are stronger than other men. We are not equal. Even as men, we're not equal. That's why some men dominate others. That's how it works. If she doesn't like you as much as she likes the other guy, you got to put in more work. That's how it works, guys. Now, you also got to realize not to get taken advantage of because she'll be taken from you, Peter, and she'll be given to Paul, right? That's the guy. She wants Paul. She don't want Peter. But she'll play with you and have fun and take pictures and eat all this stuff and out of control so the whole point of red pill guys is just to understand female nature and act accordingly you're not going out and dogging and yelling right now women act abrasive or they're real rough around the edges or masculine you start pulling back and say yeah, i'm good with this right i'm not saying you don't check a female from time to time because as men we check for respect right men check for interest beta males check for interest but the real men we check for respect we're not going to tolerate that and it's okay you move on hey i got options no big deal the simps or uh, whatever she says goes. And then it goes weak. Women will even test you sometimes to say, let me see if this guy's got a backbone. Let me see. Is he unbothered or is he stressing? That's the way it works. So, guys, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. Give me your feedback and uh, leave me a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one. Over and out.